What is up, guys? Bivertix here, bringing you my very first tutorial on this channel. Um, this is a tutorial on how to do the um, sunburst effect in Sony Vegas Pro 11. Um, I used it in one of my upcoming edits. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys anything about it. It's going to be really awesome, though. So, this is what it looks like. Alright, so as you can see, it... Um, like, as soon as he, like, kind of stomps the ground... It zooms in, it gets brighter, it blurs, um, we have some, um, we have a flare up here, and I, I'm really not sure what to call this, but we have this over here, that's awesome. So, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do this in Sony Vegas Pro 11, it really isn't that hard, but it does require a lot of layers, it requires about two or three additional layers, um, to do it, but I already have some, some stuff in here. I have um, a video track and an audio track, which I actually won't be using. I won't be syncing this clip to any music. I will just be um, editing the effect to in no particular order, just anything really. And yeah, so here we go. I'm going to open up this quad feed on Nuketown. Um, I'm going to use this because it is 120 FPS, so that's always awesome. Alright, it's already an 8-bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do... I'm just gonna slow down the um, video, so I'm gonna go say about here, and hold on, no audio. So I'm gonna go to about here, and it, um, it can be anywhere, and um, it can be like a reload or a gunshot or even a transition. Um, right now I'm just gonna be my guy's running and it's just gonna randomly kind of like stop, you know. So we're gonna press S to split um, the track in two. And we want it to go to about here. We're gonna split it again and delete and stretch this out so it looks like this. Alright. Actually, let's, um, let's shorten that. Yeah, that's about all we need. It's, it's about um, a one second long effect. I mean, it shouldn't take any longer, or else it could kind of like take up too much of your video. Any shorter and it just doesn't really like look right, kind of. No, you want it to be like a really big point, like you want it to be a really big part of your edit, not just something that you just throw in there, throw in there to make it not so under edited. So after you have split your um, video track and you've slowed it down, we want to go into the event pan and crop. Make sure lock aspect ratio is turned on, or else. It'll do this. Nobody wants that right now. So we're going to turn that on. And we're going to um, grab the corner. Or any anything, really. I just prefer to grab the corner. And we're going to drag it in a little bit. Alright. Then we're going gonna, to we're gonna go to the very end of this um, video track. We're going to right click and restore it, um, the pan and crop. So what this is going to do is... It'll make it kind of like flow back in, and actually, you want to get rid of this because that just kind of like looks weird. Yeah, that looks a little better. All right. So I guess the next thing we need to do, um, we're gonna start with the basic effects, such as um, brightness and contrast. So go into your video effects tab and find the brightness and contrast preset, and go to default and drag it onto your video. Then we're going to click animate. Fuck. There we go. And we're going to set the brightness to 0 0.100. Then we're going to go to the end of our video track and we're going to set it back to the default 0. This makes the brightness come on at first, but then it fades back into the normal video track. Or video, I should say. Alright. Next thing we want to do, we want to add um, a little bit of blur to it. So we're going to go to Gaussian Blur, and we're going to go to Light Blur, and we're going to drag that onto our video clip next. Alright, we want to keep everything the same. We want to animate both horizontal and vertical range. And we're going to go to the very end of our video track once again, and drag them both down to zero. Now we have this. Alright, so as you can see, it starts off brighter and blurrier and also zoomed in, and it fades back into the normal video. 
like so. Alright, now we're done with all that stuff. Time to get a little bit more advanced. Um, I will have a download link to the video pack, I mean, not video pack, um, visual effects pack that I will be using um, this tutorial. I will have a download link for that. I don't quite remember the author of it, I'm sorry. Um, it does have his name on the pack, I believe, so, um, I don't know. If I, if I um, remember who made the pack and where I got it from, I will give credit in the description, but it's very unlikely. So, we're gonna go to vi videos, edits, and our editing pack. Alright. So, there are actually two things from this editing pack we're gonna be using. First thing is an optical flare. Second thing is in the particles folder. Alright. We're gonna add the particles first be simply because it's simpler. We don't need to motion track anything quite yet. Um, so, I'm gonna be putting in the preset 6. Um, numbers 1 through 5, they're all just white little dots moving along the screen. Can't really do all too much of that. But with number 6, it's kind of like gold, kind of blurred out. Um, it's, kind of, it's kind of like a fiery effect, pretty much. And that's exactly what we want. So we're going to open this. Um, we, once again, do not need audio. Let's delete that audio track. And we're going to drag it down to match the effect size. So as you can see right now, it's just, um, it's all you can see is the effect. Well, not the effect, but the overlay. So what we're going to do, we're going to go into the compositing mode and set it to add. Alright, now we can see this with the particles over it. We're going to do the same for this top track as well. Actually, let's go further into the, um overlay so it's already active and we'll drag the active part to it so now we have um kind of like this ashes looking thing right here and it, holy crap that's lagging really bad but yeah you guys can see that all right what i do we're going to go to the top right corner of our overlay we're going to click and drag it all the way over to the left. This will make this fade away as the clip goes by. As you see, it kind of like fades away. Looks really nice. So, we have that, and our effect is pretty much almost done. There's only one thing we need to add, and that is the, um... I just forgot the name. Optical Flare. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. This is my first commentary. Um, so, we are going to get the optical flare. Alright, and you can choose any flare you want to. Um, I'm just going to find a kind of golden one. One that I like. Um, let's see, we're going to go with this. I think this kind of matches it nicely. Alright, so we want to drag this down to match everything else. And, we're done. No, we're not done. Um, now, this is probably the hardest part of this effect. It really depends on what the clip is like. If you're moving around, it's going to be very hard. If you if it's kind of a still image, then it really shouldn't be that hard. But we are going to motion track this flare. Now, the great thing about flares is they're not very hard to motion track because they're kind of hard to see. Um, they're just there to look cool. So, what I'm going to do to make it easier to motion track, I'm going to zoom way in. So you can't really tell if there's any mistakes. And we are going to track it. Let's see. You usually want it in one of the corners. You don't really want a flare around the middle. It doesn't normally look good. Um, sometimes it does, not always. So I'm going to put it up like right by this little pole right there. Um, and I'm going to try and keep it there as we go through. Alright, I'm going to increase the quality slightly so I can kind of see a little better. Alright. So, whenever there's any drastic changes, that's when we are going to set our keyframes and start motion tracking. Just keep going through. Actually, there might not be any in this clip. Oh, wait, wait. Yep, there are. Alright, here we go. So, it starts off... Like that. 
we want to keep it like that as we move through. So let's go to the next movement frame. All right, here it kind of moves, um, not too much. Here it moves. Yeah, we're gonna go right here. So, um, the frame where it moves, like right now, okay. These are all still frames. This is one moving frame. All right, right here. So, if you click next, it'll move. All right, well, after you click next to make it move, go to the previous frame and set a keyframe. Then, then we're gonna go to the next moving frame and we're going to click, click this little box and using our arrow keys, we're gonna go to the right and moving it over to the, like pressing the right arrow key will actually move it over to the left on the main screen, like so. So we'll move it over to the left a little bit and make sure it looks right. And we can just keep adjusting it until it looks, you know, pretty much motion tracked as it does right about now. All right, so we have that motion tracked. And now let's go over and we're gonna do the same thing and we're just gonna keep on doing this until we have the final result, all right? So I'm just going to skip through me motion tracking all of this. I will see you guys soon. Alright guys, I'm back. So, we're just gonna motion track. Actually, we don't really need to motion track this. It looks pretty good as is. We're gonna motion track it anyways. Why not? Alright. So, this is all done. Now, what we need to do, um, if we go through, we can see it's pretty well motion tracked. Yep. So, now what we're gonna do is we are going to, like we did for the particles overlay, we are going to click and hold um, from the right from the top right corner and drag it over to the top left corner and the effect should be done now um, you will notice that the optical flare now fades away along with the particles and at the end of the day it's like nothing even happened something didn't happen there all right so I'm going to pre-render this and let you guys see what it looks like. I will be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Um, I have rendered the clip and I'm about to show it to you. Alright, so that's what it looks like. Not quite as amazing as it looked in the preview earlier. That's because it's not synced to anything right now. It's just the effect and the effect only. Um, so... Make sure to leave a comment, like the video, um, subscribe, give me some constructive criticism, uh, mostly on the commentary, I guess. Uh -huh. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Um, like I said earlier, the download to the editing pack will be down below in the description. Um, I'm, I'm by Vertex, not Burr, Burr, something, I don't know. And I'll see you later.